Hi there, Sarah here from Scattered Pictures and Memories, and today I'm going to show you how to make this expanding recipe folder. I'm using the Home Sweet Home Collection by Graphic 45, and some craft paper for the inside. I'll just open it up so you can see. So I've made this to fit 4x6 recipe cards. These are cut from the 12x12. 12 12. And the tutorial is going to show you the basic construction. Uh, after I finished uh, the tutorial, I went ahead and I added some fussy cuts. So I've got this lady here, happiness is homemade. On the back, I made a little pocket with a piece of the border. So these are some cards from the journaling and ephemera. Grandma's apple pie recipe. And what I did on the front is I pieced together uh, these stamps that I could fussy cut from the borders and I left them open behind so that when you're using your recipe you have some place to put it to read it. So like that. Okay. There are three magnets here so that you can uh, continue to add recipes and your folder will expand but still close. So the furthest one closes it tight with this tucked under the stamps. The second one is there, and the third one is there. So that gives you lots of room to add recipes to your folder. Okay, so let's get started with the tutorial. I'm going to show you the supplies I'm using to make my recipe folder. I am using the Graphic 45 Home Sweet Home Collection, and I've got the 12 by 12 paper pad, uh, the decorative chipboard, and we may use some of the journaling and ephemera cards. Also got six pieces of 8.5 by 11 craft cardstock, an 8.5 by 11 piece of chipboard that's about a millimeter thick. We're going to use a Tyvek envelope, and I just got this at a local uh, office supply store. A cutting tool, envelope punch board. If you don't have this, you can cut uh, your tabs by hand, or use uh, a die cut tab. A scoreboard, distress ink and vintage photo in your distressing tool. Okay, some good strong liquid glue. I'm using uh, Beacon 3-in-1 some score tape, sharp scissors, and some magnets. We're going to use four magnets on the recipe folder. We've also got a ruler, a craft knife, a pen just in case, and some of these handy craft clamps. And last but not least is some clear hockey tape. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, like I said, we're going to use craft cardstock for the actual recipe folder, but just so that you can see this better, I'm using white for the tutorial. Uh, we're going to cut two pieces uh, that are four and a quarter inches by ten inches, and we're going to reinforce these with Tyvek. This is going to make the side uh, accordion fold of the folder, and you definitely don't want that ripping. So this is the Tyvek envelope. I just cut off the end and a side so that I could open it up, and then I cut a piece. And the reason we're using this is it is super strong, it does not rip. I'm pulling really hard on this. So for the sake of time, I'm not going to put it on the piece for the tutorial, but it is going to be on the, the actual envelope. So what we're going to do to make the sides is score every half inch. Okay. And I'm working around my tripod leg, so it's a little difficult here. So every half inch all the way to the end, and what this is going to do is it's going to create nine sections in your recipe folder. So we're going to make two of these, and you're going to accordion fold this, and you're going to start going up, because when we end, we want to have the two ends both up like this so we can attach it inside the folder. So up, and first, and up, and reverse. So there we go. That's what the sides will look like. Of course, they'll be reinforced with tieback. So I'll just show you the ones I made for the actual folder. So here's the craft card stop. 
and as you can see I've lined it with the tie back and I've already put some score tape on this. Next we're going to make the divider tabs to go uh, in your recipe folder so you can have different sections for different types of recipes. Okay, so for the tabs that are going to form the dividers of your recipe folder, we're going to uh, make nine of them. So they're, for the left and right ones, you're going to make use the same uh, steps to make six of them. And for the center, we're going to make three. And so for the left and right, we'll just flip one over so that uh, for the right side. Okay? So we're going to start here. We're going to punch with this right at the center mark. And like I said, if you don't have an envelope punch board, you can cut these by hand, or you can uh, use a die cut tab, or even uh, cut down a, a folder. Okay. So once you've punched this corner, you're going to flip it over. Okay. You're going to align this edge at the two inch mark on the envelope punch board. Just do that. Okay. Punch it. Okay, and there's our first tab. You don't have to cut this off, so you're going to get your cutting tool. Okay. And you're going to cut this down up to the tab at four and a quarter, so that it's actually going to be the same height as the uh, sides that we already made. Okay, so that's four and a quarter. And you do want to make sure that you do have a little bit of a gap here so that you get that nice. Uh, flip on the end, and so sometimes you kind of have to play with it a little bit. It might be just a tad over four and a quarter. Okay, and right up. Okay. So there we go. So for the left and right tabs, you're going to make six of those just like that. Okay. Now for the center tab, okay, we're going to make three, and you're going to align the left side at two and one eighth inch, and this is going to center it on this card. Okay. Okay. I'm going to slide it over to four and one eighth inch, and okay. And now, once again we are going to cut this down to four and a quarter okay and so you're going to cut on either side of that tab in the middle okay. Okay. so now we're going to have nine of these I don't think I said it, but the card that you start with is four and five eighths by six and a quarter. Okay? So you're going to cut nine cards at four and five eighths by six and a quarter, and then you're going to punch them. Okay. okay, and now that we have nine of the divider cards and our sides complete, we're ready to start putting this together. Okay. Now don't worry about uh, the measurements. I'm going to put the, them all on my blog, so if you're following along and I forget to tell you what something measures, you can check out my blog. I'll include a link below. So the first thing we're going to do is start to attach these divider cards. And you want to make sure that they're flush with the bottom. And don't go right up to the score line because you do want to make sure that this has some room to still expand. And so there's one. So I've used um, half inch score tape on each of these little hinge areas. probably speed up the video here so you don't have to watch me do this. Okay, so 
that's the first side done. You can see all of the dividers. This is going to make a nice little expandable folder. I'm going to add the cards, put the other side on. And I'm actually going to start at the back on this one. I think that might be easier. So not the first one, leave that and go to the second one. So this is going to what's going to attach it to the cover piece. Okay, and there we have it. It's inside for our expanding recipe folder. Okay, so now we're going to start on the covers. And for the front and back covers, you're going to need a piece of chipboard cut to six and a half inches wide by five inches high. And the pattern paper you're going to use to cover these uh, is going to be eight and a half by seven, and for the inside, six and a quarter by four and three quarter. And we're going to put some magnets on the front cover, so I've already done that. And I just got these off eBay, and they're super, super strong. And measure to the center, and from the top, you're going to put a magnet at one inch, one and three quarter inches, and two and a half inches. And this is going to allow you some room as your uh, folder expands to, to keep it closed. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is with the pattern paper, I've given it a large uh, section uh, to cover here so you don't see any seams and we're going to score it one inch on two sides. going to give you your full line to line up your cover. Just make sure that's good. Okay. So to put this on I'm going to use the liquid glue. So I'm going to get this in place. and tight against those edges. And then what I like to do, so I'm just going to move this aside, is now just give it a quick score along the edge of the cover piece. So now we have to cut these corners across. You want to go about an eighth of an inch from the corner so that you have a little bit of paper to cover that edge there. Okay, and I just eyeball it. Now what I'm going to do is just put a little bead of liquid glue along the edge here. It's a little extra since that score tape will not cover the whole area. Okay. And I like to do 
the tops and bottoms first and then the sides. Just use your nail or you can use your folding tool. Just kind of push those corners in. Okay. Let's do those corners first this time. And I'm literally just sliding this tool in from the outside. That's back cover done. Okay, so we're going to do the front cover in exactly the same way as the back cover, but what I've done here is I've put some score tape around the magnets and uh, accidentally put one here and meant to put it on the side, but this is going to help make sure that the paper sticks around those magnets and that we don't cover the magnets with any of the liquid glue. So I've already scored this piece one inch on two sides. Okay. So let's put some liquid glue. And this is the front, so you're actually flipping over the magnets are going downward. So you want to kind of aim this properly the first time because all that score tape's on. paper down gently around those magnets. You don't want to rip your paper. Okay, there's one, two, three magnets. Oops, almost forgot to tuck in those corners again. The bottom piece is six and a half inches wide by two inches high. The pattern paper you're going to use to cover it is seven and a half inches by three inches, and inside six and a quarter by two. And you can see my sticky notes to keep me on track here. Okay. I didn't want to cover up my measurements, so I've got to add the score tape here. I want this on the outside, so I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to score this at a half an inch on two sides. Okay. 
edges with corners in. And so for this one, we don't need any liquid glue because the score tape is wide enough. I'm just going to burnish this first, make sure it's well stuck. Okay, so there's our three cover pieces. Oh, you can see that one the paper ripped a little bit, but that's okay because we're going to ink the edges. Side of the cover done. Okay, so now we're ready to assemble the cover, and I've cut two hinges. So these are cut at two inches and scored at one inch down the middle, just folded. And I've reinforced the fold with clear hockey tape. And the reason I do that is it's super strong and a little bit stretchy, and it doesn't tear. So, and it's readily available here in Canada. So, that is an amazing tool for reinforcing your hinges. Okay. So I've added some score tape. The hinges are actually going to go inside. I know usually we put hinges on the outside, but I wanted to use uh, the different pattern paper on the bottom. So that's why I did it in three separate pieces, and the hinges will not go on the inside. Okay. So we're going to use both the score tape and the liquid glue. And I'm just going to do the bottom piece first. And I'm just putting the liquid glue over the hockey tape because the score tape will peel off that. Oops. So I'm going to line this up right at the edge of the folds. I'm actually going to do it this way. And just center the hinge. And we're just outside that score line. Now we can put the front and back on. I made sure to mark the top of the front piece because you want your magnets to be in the right spot, not down too low. So the first one here is here at an inch, so that's going to go up. side of that score line again and line it up with the bottom piece. So you are going to see a little bit of the craft through there, that's why I used the, the clear hockey tape to reinforce it. And I've cut the pattern paper for the bottom already. And I did cut it to the two inches so that it covers as much of that hinge as possible. And I've already inked the edges of this with the distress ink. And just center it on the bottom. You're not really going to see this, but if somebody's looking down into the recipe album, it's just a little extra that they can see if they're that picky. Like me. Okay, so there, the cover is now assembled. The magnets are here. Now we have to put the expanding folder part in there. 
Okay, now we're going to add the expanding folder inside our cover. So, first thing we're going to do here, this is the paper that's going to cover the, the inside of the cover. So I'm actually going to glue this to this paper first. And I've already inked the edges of these with the distressing. Okay, these are six and a quarter by four and three quarter. And this is the side I want showing. So I'm going to flip it over and just align it right at the bottom. that one. Let's do that. This is the sign I'm showing. This is ready to put into the covers now. So we are going to add some liquid glue all over here. Let's get the backings off this. This we want just above this. And this is the hard part because you've got quite a large piece that you're working with here. I'm going to center it on the cover. And it needs to be right near the bottom. Just pushing on the edge here where I have the score tape, make sure it's stuck down really well. Okay. Now we have to do the back. a little too far to the side. I don't know if I can move it. Try. See how nice and sticky that glue is? Okay, so I'm going to shift it just a bit. Push 
section done on the outside here with the score tokens. Put my folder in there again. Make sure that's put down. I don't want to pull it too far open now. So it's well attached. Okay. There we go. Look at that. And now we need to make a flap to go over the top. Okay, so to make the top flap, you're going to cut uh, pattern paper, six and a half by six and a half, and two sheets, one for the outside and one for the inside. And in between these, I've put a six and a half by six and a half piece of the Tyvek. Uh, and I put that together already because we're going to do some scoring on here, and I wanted to make sure it was perfectly dry before we scored it. So it's just a piece of Tyvek sandwiched between two pieces of pattern paper. Now when you put these together, make sure your pattern, if it has words or if there's a right way up, okay, you want it on the top to run forwards, but then when you open it up, you want it to run downwards so that when it's open, you're looking at it the right way. Okay. Now we're going to score this. We're going to start one and a half inches from the back, and I know that's the back because I used the envelope punch on the corners of the front so that it matches the design inside. And starting at one and a half inches, remember this is three layers so you can go a little bit harder. Every half inch up to two inches, so up to four and a half. Okay, so we're just going to, it doesn't have to be tight creases for this, except for the back one and the front one. So these can just be gentle creases, and this is going to create a nice kind of rounded top for the recipe holder. And I've already put a magnet in here, um, so it's one inch from the edge, so it'll match up with the one inch magnet on the cover. And when you're doing that, just make sure that you've got the right side of the magnet forward. Okay, so see how nice and curved that is? Okay. Now take your distressing and just lightly go along those folds. So there is the cover, which is now ready to attach to our folder. So now we're ready to attach the flap to the top. I've added a piece of score tape just along the top of that first score mark at the back. And I'm going to add some liquid glue as well. And now let's check and make sure it's the back. So this is the magnet, so it's the front. So this is the back. And we're just going to line this up with that first score mark. And I've just cut this, fussy cut this border piece out, and I'm going to put it over the seam back here so you don't see it. Have our magnets here. So there we go. Let's 
holding it closed. And for the front here, I want to add this chipboard piece as part of the closure. But because part of it's going to be visible, you don't want to see that. So we're going to glue it onto a piece of pattern paper. Now I want this side to show. So I'm going to glue it on this side. I'm just going to glue this here, let it sit for a bit, cut it out with our craft knife and ink the edges with the vintage photo distress ink. Okay, so I've cut the chipboard out using my craft knife and inked the edges. And now we're going to attach it to the front of the flap. Okay, so we just want the top half to have glue. The center is right here where the magnet is. Center it. Right there. And I'm going to put some clamps on this to hold it down. Okay, so there's the basic expanding recipe folder. Okay. Let's open it up. And it's made so that it'll fit the 4x6 recipe cards perfectly. So these are from the 12x12, 12 12, and I just cut them out, ink them. And you can continue to decorate this however you like. I might put some fussy cuts or something on here. But that is the basic construction of an expanding recipe folder. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and thank you for watching.